Yeah, you know, we're live, we're live, live, or whatever. You're just gonna stare at me now. It's the most awkward intro we've had for KDM probably now. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twitch Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Coming to you live here from our studio in South Florida, bringing you another episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, and we're gonna have a lot of fun here. But first up, let's get some introductions out of the way. As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And we are Twist Gaming. And before we go any further, we would like to point out that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Court of the Dead Mourners Call, currently live on Kickstarter as of noon today, Eastern yeah. Time. Uh, they have passed 100% funding already, so they they killed it with that. They and unlocked Metal Unity tokens. Ooh. And uh, we had the opportunity to spotlight that yesterday. So if you haven't had the opportunity, definitely go and check it out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we had Pat, the game designer on, Pat Marino. Yep. And he was uh, teaching us how to play. Uh, we showed off a lot of stuff. I beat Josh. Just barely. I still beat you. Win is a win, whether it be an inch or a mile. Uh, but with that, definitely go check that out, guys. So, Josh, recap. What happened last time on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? We beat up a level two Lion God. How bad did we beat him up? Pretty bad. I almost died, though. Yeah, you almost always die. It's nothing new. Yeah, that's true. So what's what? What else happened? Two people had to skip the hunt, though, right? Yes, we had a triathlon of death. Mm. We did some death and stuff, and then we have to skip the hunt. So who's people. skipping the hunt? I was one of them. Um, yeah, and one of my characters. Okay, and then did we use all of our endeavors last time? No, we still have four left. Uh, okay, so you know what we need to do now, right? Well, uh, we need to figure out what we're gonna do with those endeavors. So we innovated cooking, right? We did. So are we cooking? I think we have the resources to cook right now. Okay. So what do you want to do with those four endeavors that we have left? Um, here's your character for this hunt. We can make silk. Can make silk. We can silk. make a love juice. Make a love juice. That's two come endeavors. From a so then we need two more. Comes from a can. So this is no love juice doesn't come from a jar. Love juice comes from who you are. Oh, it comes in a can. <sighs> All right. So we're gonna do a silk. Yes. Did we have to like fix someone's body parts or something? No, we did that already. Uh, Twitch prefers the bugs raw and dangerous. Uh, shoot at Augury to farm understanding for the apathy guy. Oh, someone got apath apathy. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. I think oh, it might be me. Wait, your character can't skip the next hunt because you used to be hopeful. Yes. So you have the ability to... Oh, that's right. So I, I can just... But you have apathetic, so you have no survival. Oh. Um... Though I think we might have uh, something to help with that. Help me. <coughs> help me, Josh. Josh, help me. Help me, Josh, help me. Help me one, Joshy Kenobi. You're my only hope. Uh, just so, guys, another thing to keep in mind that in the pre-stream, we did a vote for which monster we're going to be fighting tonight. We're going to be fighting a level D level 2 DBK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you... How's your... They're all bad. How's my what? Your disorders. Yep, they're all pretty horrible. Um, I'm going to give you... Yeah. One of our black waters. And what does that do? Or dark waters. Which gets rid of all your disorders, and oh. you get a random one. Okay. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to need chat to pull me a disorder then, right? Yes. So chat, you know the drill. Exclamation mark dis, and you can pull a disorder for me. So first one that we see is going to be what my new disorder is. And hopefully it's a doozy. Hoarder! That's not bad. I can take Hoarder. So I get rid of Apathetic, Rageaholic, and Prima Donna. So I don't have to go first anymore either. Yep. So I get rid of all those, and I get Hoarder. So I think we made a Silk already? Because we did. We fixed someone's arm. We did. So but we had a Silk in reserve that we used to do it. No, I think we needed to make one. What are you doing? Why are you touching me? I don't appreciate this, Matt. <laughs> um, not really sold on actually using cooking. Three resources in an endeavor just don't stand up well versus the one expected lifetime reroll used. Uh, will you loop if you get clinging miss again? Probably not. Probably not. I want to. Josh doesn't want to. Josh says he hates me. I don't know why. He's like, I hate you, Matt. All right, so we have three left. Um, Imagine if we just fought level threes from the very beginning. Why are you throwing stuff? Why are you upset, Josh? If we got paint first thing on, maybe. It would be hard, though. Loop and go for green armor. We could loop and go okay. for green armor. Um, the other endeavors, uh, anyone want a nightmare train? I don't have any survival. Uh, Twitch is one away from Spearmaster. Do they have survival? 
They have nine survival. Well, uh, uh, you tell check me, the actually. Overlay. The overlay is probably more accurate. So let me go to the board there. Ten survival. Ten survival. All right. So let's have them roll D10. All right. So, chat, please roll a D10. This is going to be for your nightmare training. You do have other otherworldly luck, so that will allow you to add one to the result. And then how many will we have after this, Josh? Uh, two. Dose left. So what do we want to use those on? They rolled a four, so that's going to be spend a survival and go against. They're going to be down to six survival, Josh. Because three survival to do it the first time. Yep. They're going to get it all back, pretty much. It's seven. Button not showing up. Yeah. Refresh, maybe? A one. Going to have to spend a survival or die there. So they're going to spend another one. So they're down to five survival. The extension get disabled? No, but I know. I think I know what happened. You guys might just need to do X mission roll. If it's still <laughs> not working. Hmm. I have. GoDaddy doesn't let you do SSL certificates I don't know what for that free. Means. The security certificates to make it easy to use. Um, and I think it expired, so that might be given issues. And I forgot to check it earlier. Oh, refresh, refresh work. Art. Like How working. refreshing. Uh, so they got it. So they're going to up their experience, and they are now a shield master. A spear master. Spear master. Spear master. So we're going to switch them. And they already are an axe master, too. Yep. So what do you want to switch them over to next? Uh, I think they're fine. I don't know. Nothing? Maybe nothing? I don't know. Um, what's their accuracy and strength? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Three accuracy, six strength, six evasion, two luck, four movement. I think they're fine. I don't. I don't have anything. All right. I think we're good. I am going for shield specialization. I'm the only one with any shield uh, yep. ranks right now. So. And I don't think their Gurgrit has a spot for a shield at the moment. No, it does not. Unless we take away their luck charm. But then they don't activate the wisdom potion. And Unless there's a shield with the left blue. Doubt it. Okay. Oh, yeah, what well, we're doing for at some point. We haven't had it yet. I don't even know what we get for beating a level three tree. So, Josh, what are we doing the last two endeavors? Um, partying like it's 1999. Uh, we're going to level up uh, The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Uh, he ages up, so... 2d10s? Yep. Chat, please roll 2d10s. Is this his first age? Yep. Yep. Pretty sure he needs to have, like, a certain amount of age to trigger the rest of the... Uh, We've got so many babies right now, Gibberam. It's just... We've got too many. Eight. What's that? That's a random fighting art. So that's going to be re three random fighting arts, then. So, chat, please pull three random fighting arts, and let's see what we get here. <clears throat> and we get to choose one. Right. So we got Blotted Out. Uh, we've got Wardrobe Expert. And that's when you suffer severe hit injury to a location, you may archive instead. And then Sneak Attack. When you attack a monster from the blind spot, gain plus four strength. I get Sneak Attack. All right. We're good. Okay. Let's get this party started. S oh yeah, we're getting Snack Attack. Snack Attack. Snack. So we're ready to go? Yeah. Josh, I need your help. Sope. You're not doing a sound effect. How am I supposed to know that's working if there's no sound effect? Hold oh, no. on. I don't know what that was. Uh, so we're going to be fighting a level two Dung Beetle Knight. I am departing with uh, a Josh named Matt. Twist, you guys are now Lone Salt still. Uh, you're playing as who, Josh? The Baconator and Salty Mix Salt Shaker. Two new characters for you? Uh, Baconator was formerly known as the Tormor Gerb, and they lost their name. Ah. So So who's got other otherworldly luck? I do not. Uh, both my characters do. And Twitch does. So I'm the only one that doesn't. Yep. So I will go second or third. Do you prefer? I don't care. I'm going to go second. So chat, you guys are going first, so we know what we need to do. Please roll a random hunt event. So that's a D-102. Let's see what's going on. Josh, put up a poll for That's everyone. What I'm working on. Stop, stop touching. Schneck. So chat rolled what? What What do you think chat's going to roll there, Josh? Uh, 42. 99. 99. So they rolled a 99. Josh, what's a 99? Um, it's a number. 
It could be a hundred though, can't You're Josh named Matt, right? Yeah, I'm a Josh named Matt. Uh, <coughs> Just so Josh, do we want to do a ninety nine or a hundred? Ninety nine. Port Cullis. Uh, Arby's. <sighs> Arby's. I'm thinking Arby's. Okay, so ninety nine. Port Cullis. The survivors approach a massive Port Cullis standing in the darkness. It is not attached to anything and does not bar their way. They may choose to walk around it. If they do, roll again on the hunt event board before moving on the hunt. This element has the Port Cullis key. Josh, we have the Port Cullis key? Nope. Okay, so we're going to roll again. <clears throat> no, we don't have the key. Um, why did we do that instead of going for the... Because I don't want... Do you want the Thunder Mall? Not really. Okay, so we're rolling again. Why do I have the Phoenix Mask still on? 100 was the chance to get the Thunder Mall. The Thunder Mall's kind of poop. Um, not a fan. Roll, folks! Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. I thought you were just aggressively rolling. 59. Josh, what's a 59? Oh, what's a number? It's signs of battle. Battle. Uh, so the survivors come upon, unless we want to do wildfire. I think Science of Battles. Yeah. Actually, no, Wildfire clears the next two spaces, right? Um, yes, it does. Um, it would get rid of both. Of the Dung Beetle Knight ones? Yeah, and they're not nice. Are they not nice? They're not good. <sighs> what do you want to do? Uh, let's do Wildfire. Okay, so it's going to archive the next two spaces, and they become uh, random hunt events. Also, the button is borked, in case it doesn't. Yeah, these are poopy. Glad we got rid of that. All right, so, uh, wildfire. A massive wall of flames obstructs the survivors, incinerating the ground. It has destroyed whatever awaited the survivors and left chaos in its wake. Archive all hunt event cards in the next two spaces. Place two basic hunt event cards there. So we're going to go... And chat, please roll another random hunt event. So this one's going to be for me. Little old me. Little old me. Whatever shall it be? Woohoo! What is it, Josh? What is it, Pilgrim? It's a 33, Pilgrim. So, Josh, what's a 33? It is a number. It whispers your name. The event revealer trips over a protruding nose in the ground. The lips of the stone face begin to move. If the event revealer has no name... I do have a name. Am I insane? I am insane. So I'm going to kiss the face. Repulse and outrage, the other survivors suffer one brain event damage before pulling the crazed survivor from the ground and moving on. So, Josh, everyone's going to take one brain event damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, and that is, if the event revealer... I am insane. Oh, no. What? If any survivor has the marrow hunger impairment, Lone Salt does. Uh, they're going to gain... Do the next... Because I don't have other otherworldly oh, other other luck. So uh, the, the face secretly whispers their life's purpose. They gain plus one permanent strength. Add the murder settlement event to the timeline next year. Murder. So you guys get plus one permanent strength. So you have seven, seven strength. And we're going to add murder. Oh, boy. Um, that's fine. Why is it fine? Why is it fine? What's your hunt XP at? I'm pretty sure I get it. We... Uh, we kill Salty McSalt Shaker. Why? Because once I finish this fight, he'll get the same age as everyone else is there right now. Right now. So we'll just kill him off. What do you mean that everyone else is? Wh what's your age at? Oh. That. Okay. Oh, my age is one more. Damn it. Ha uh ha. -huh. We'll figure it out. Okay. So we're gonna so murder someone. That's cool. So we're gonna go. Burp, 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 burp. And Josh, the next one's on you. So we're gonna roll another random hunt event. So, hunt event. Let's see what we get. This one does have other otherworldly luck, right? Right. Oh. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. 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 I feel like I was doing something else. And I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Completely threw me off guard. Because I'm murdering you. Josh, it's a 23. What's a 23? I don't know. It is clean water. Or there's the food from the mouths of others. I don't know. Um... I don't know. What do you want to do? Let's do clean water. The survivors pass a forlorn fountain in the shape of a lion's face. A stream of crystal clear water flows from its mouth. 
Each survivor consumes the water, gaining plus one survival and plus one courage. Any survivors may douse their head in the water and roll a d10. So we're all going to gain a courage and a survival. So that causes Lone Salt to see the truth. Okay, cool. So chat, we're going to need a d10 to be rolled because you're seeing the truth. What else happens? Uh, we can douse our head in the water if we want. Do we get a courage and what, what was the other thing? Survival. When we get a survival? Yes. How much survival do we get on the part? Well, an eight. So an eight on See the Truth. And that is bitter. So, bitter. 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 Uh, when you... Jeez. Oh, um, gain the Berserker Fighting Art and the following ability. Bitter Frenzy. Each showdown the first time you suffer the brain... Uh, frenzy brain trauma gain d10 survival you may spend survival when frenzied so we have mammoth hunting other otherworldly luck and extra sense so i'm gonna get rid of mammoth hunting oh. to give them berserker so what's berserker do again josh um you can knock yourself spend an activation knock yourself down to cause the frenzy brain trauma yeah and then they have bitter frenzy cool um, is anyone dousing their head in the water? Um, anything good? Maybe. I don't care that much. Um, yeah, I would say no. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, no one's gonna do that. Okay, Bitter Frenzy isn't the worst. Some okay butcher protection for level three. So we're gonna go, bitter, bitter, and Josh, this is your second character. So it's gonna be another random hunt event. So chat, you know what to do. I don't know what to do, but I'm hoping you know what to do. Josh, do you know what to do? Oh, we roll dice. We wouldn't be able to use fighting arts then. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the bad thing. It's not as good as it used to be. And it's four. Josh, what's a four? That's not cancer pigeon. Famine or flesh fields? Mm-hmm. 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 Let's do famine. <clears throat> the path ahead is arid and dead. You may have survivors gain plus one courage and press on. Otherwise, roll again on the hunt table before moving on the hunt board. If you press on, your stomach grumbles in the dark as you stumble forward. The survivors pool their supplies. The event revealer rolls a d10 and adds two to their roll for each consumable gear or resource the group has. It's a group roll? Yeah. So you how many consumable stuff do we have? Just one, I think. Okay. And you get to add one for other otherworldly luck. So do you want to roll or do you want chat to roll? It, does one person get that or the whole group gets that number one through eight result? It, the group gets this. It's a group roll. Let's just do a different hunt. Let's re-roll a new hunt. We're not going to do it. Okay. You don't need the courage. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do a new hunt. So we're not moving. We're doing a new hunt. This one's still yours. Yep. How is that even possible? Only one person has Monster Grease. Yep. We, we've outgrown Monster Grease because yeah. we've become... Evadey. We're already greasy. 50. 50. Josh, what's a 50? Um, not a 52. Mad flies? We got Gibbet. Gibbet? Gibbet? Uh, and that is a crude iron cage swings from the branches of a massive tree. As the survivors approach, a man calls out to them from the cage, pleading to be freed. The survivors may pass him by and suffer one brain event damage as the prisoner weeps and pleads. If the survivors choose to free him, roll a d10. Should we free him? Go ahead. Free or flee? Do it. What potion? Wisdom potion? Oh, it is it is consumable. Oh, we had two. Yeah. Plus, plus four. You need like an eight. I roll the three. The prisoner is thankful and follows the survivors until they rest. When they wake, each survivor loses one random resource, if they had any. We have no resources. Yeah. That's fine. So, next up, this is uh, Twitch. So, Twitch, random on event. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Who's Roland? Um, he's the... M protagonist of the Dark Tower series. No. What? Roland is the king from Spaceballs. Ten. Josh, what's a ten? Harvester. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
So they technically have other old luck, so it could be 11. It says this event can't be re-rolled or avoided in any way. Yep. So, no, I love it. It says, uh, Kimber Evans says it can't be altered. So How does go. how does chat want to do that? None of us have noisy gear, so it's all minus one survival. That's all it is. And gain of random disorder. Oh, whatever. Um, nah. Whoa, that is not what I said. What? <laughs> yeah, Ross says it can't be avoided, so don't <clears> you. <throat> all right, so we all lose survival. Okay. So we're going to lose a survival, and we're all going to get a disorder. So okay. down the line. First is Twitch. Chat. Whoops, not an innovations. Please pull disorders. Shallow lungs. When you encourage, you're knocked down. That's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're we're doing one at a time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. hit the button for each one. All so right, that so was Twitch. That was Twitch. So what did they get? They're gonna get rid of. Are they getting rid of Quixotic, hypersensitive, or immortal? Uh, get rid of immortal because they can't use survival. Ah, wait, they're fucking dead. Well, hold on. No, they're not. What happens? The mere sight of it is maddening. All survivors gain one random disorder, then must spend one survival or be devoured Okay. Whole. Okay, so yes, we get rid of that. Okay, so they get rid of it. So they get rid of a mortal. Yes. To give themselves what? Um, totally forgot what it was. I, I forgot too. Um, and I don't have chat open on here. What was it? Guys, what was it? I don't remember. What was the disorder? Oh, it was uh, Shadow Lungs. Shallow lungs, yeah. That's funny. Okay, so then next up is for me. Secretive, when you were... Uh, secretive. I don't have to ever skip, so that's fine. So I'm a secretive hoarder. Josh, this next one is for your red character. Who's that? Salty McSalt Shaker. Salty McSalt Shaker. Arithmophilia. When you gain this disorder, roll a d5. <laughs> your movement is that number. Yeah, what's your movement right five. now? Five. Yeah. Your movement, it's... Two. Two. What is it called? Arithmophilia. Uh, otherwise, you would not say that every event is harvester because you can't avoid it by rolling every other numbers? All right, last is her. So your movement's two? Yep. That sucks. And the last one is Copralalia. No, it's uh, Rageaholic. Ah, Rageaholic. Whenever you suffer severe injury, you also suffer frenzy. <laughs> ah, God. Okay. So that's done with, thankfully. All right. So, there's so we're all going to go, burp, 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 and it's back to me. So what am I doing? I'm rolling a random hunt event. So chat, you know what to do. Give me a random hunt event. I can't dodge this one, so we shall see. <sighs> Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Does this have water? No, I'm thirsty. Drink. 77. Josh, what's a 77? Um, it's two sevens. Put it's together. a sinkhole. A gaping sinkhole suddenly opens under the survivors, revealing a swirling black pool of ichor beneath them. Each survivor rolls a d10, with the lowest survivor being the straggler. Everyone roll a d10. Does anyone have prepared? Um, yeah. I do. Uh, so I'm fine. I really don't have to roll, but might as well. Uh, so what's your low roll? Nine. Chat rolled a nine. So it's both of you. Because it's survivors in case of a tie. Uh, if any other survivor has a whip, we don't. So chat, roll another d10. Josh, roll a d10. You both have other other woolly luck, so you won't die. Uh, I rolled a 9 or 10. That's a 10. That's interesting. And chat rolled. Let's see. Four. Four. So they rolled a 5. You are dragged to safety. Terrified, but unharmed. Okay. Josh, after a monumental effort, the other survivors pull your fat ass free. Someone is clinging tightly to your feet. Gain a population. 
As they re uh, retreat to your settlement, each survivor suffers one brain event damage. So you you found someone stuck to your feet somehow, some way. I want fishing in the sinkhole. It's not fishing. It's peopling. It's fishing. It's peopling. You found a person. It's a fish person. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reverse mermaid. Normal person bottom half with a fish upper half? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, I don't have another sheet. I think our we'll just know that we have someone in queue. So we're gonna go. Josh, you know what time it is? It's uh, overwhelming darkness. Tool time with Tim the Toolman Taylor. Josh, roll d10. How do you people not have room for any safety items when you don't make room for cactus or farming equipment? Um, because yeah. we have. A lot of stuff. Some stuff. of us have a cup, like a five weapons. Josh. Josh. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, it's Josh that spelled it. I'm not surprised. So, Josh, what's your low roll? Two or three. So a two, minus one accuracy. You punch yourself in the face. What's your next low roll? So I'm a, I am a, I'm a five. I'm a three. So that is minus one accuracy. But since I have Altered Destiny, I get a plus one accuracy token. <clears throat> we'll, remind you, we'll remind you guys in just a second. Uh, chat, you are going to gain minus one evasion token and a plus one survival. And then, Josh, what's your high roll? Five. Same thing. Same thing. Okay, so let's review really quick. Now that we passed Overwhelming Darkness, you show off. Hunt and then we do it? No. Um... So, chat, this is you guys. So you've got the Warlord Armor, the Necromancer's Eye, the Lantern Glaive, Luck Charm, and Wisdom Potion. Uh, you should try to roll on the path that can get you minus three luck tokens. Can you choose that? I thought that we had to roll on the other one. No, I, th I think you can roll on it. Oh, really? Um, what is that one? Path of the Doomed. I was almost there. It's a two. But if I roll a one on Path of the Doomed, I die. At where I spend all my survival. So if I had other otherworldly luck, I would roll on it. But I do not. Uh, Necromancer's Eye is awesome. Let's see what I... Let's show off what I've got. I've got a very weird gear grid here. So I've got the Rawhide Headband and Vest. I've got the Sunstring Quiver. I've got the Beacon Shield. I've got the Antelope Mask, the Luck Charm, First Aid Kit, the Arc Bow, and a Monster Tooth Necklace. That's a hodgepodge. It is, but it works. Yeah, I love this gear grid, actually. I'm very happy. And I also, so I've got two arrows also. I've got the Clawhead Arrow and the Gloomhead Arrow, and those are because I have the, the Quiver. So Josh has got the Cyclopean Armor set, Cycloid Armor. Uh, he's got the Lance of Longinus, the Crest Crown, Monster Grease, and a Blue Charm. So he's our Trapper Keeper. Yep. And then finally, the last character here is running what? Are you running Full Lantern? Yeah, Full Jesus. Lantern. So he's running Full Lantern with the Belt of Gender Swap, uh, the Elder Earrings to activate the boots, Denticle Axe to activate the boots, and the Riot Mace for bonking the stuff in the face. For booping the snoot. Booping the snoot. I uh, got the gloom arrows and the claw head arrows. No third arrow yet. So, we're getting ready to go. Josh, it's your character up next. I'm going to go get a glass of water. So, you can, can you go, go ahead and roll that. Uh, I could, but I'm not going to. Can you put this in card cam? I could, but I'm not going to. Just said that. Who's, whose turn is this? Mine? You find a curious stone face. It is... Ringed with overgrown dead acanthus plants, you may push the dead leaf side to investigate. If you do, roll a d10. I think we're going to investigate this, right, guys? Stop RBNs, camera. Do it. All right. I rolled a four. Um, in the face of nostril... In the face's nostril, you find some leftover shimmering goo. You secretly consume it and gain plus one permanent speed. The start of the showdown, the monster gains plus one speed token. Matt, you hear that?
I got plus one permanent speed. Why not? The monster also got plus one speed. You know what? I leave you alone for five minutes, and this is what you do. I think you left me alone for like 50 seconds. 50 cent? Okay. I mean, so I'll take 50 cents. Away. Money's money. Are we ready to fight the monster? Yep. Okay, we're going to fight the monster now. You done getting speed for stuff? That AI card is atrocious. Right. Okay, so help me set it up, Josh. Meanie pants. Do you know what we need? Nope. We need one resin dung ball. We need two stone columns. We need a bug spot. And we need uh, the giant stone face. You didn't get the poop ball, did you? Nope, I forgot that. <sighs> Josh! Come on, man! So we need poop ball, bug patch, stone columns, stone face. Anything else? Does anyone get a canthus? Okay. So, eat the bug. Twitch eats the dung ball. I don't, I don't think we want to eat the dung ball. That sounds gross. Okay, so it's going to go over here. No! Arby's. Damn Arby's. I don't know what it is. What? C camera's Arby'ing on us. Camera's going Arby's. Camera's going Arby's. <laughs> Teepee's face. More like poo poo face because of the dumb ball. Happy birthday. All I want for my birthday is a big booty hoe. Okay, so dung ball's going to go back here. And the bug patch is going to go one, two spaces back here. Um, uh, you do realize that saying we can't eat the dung ball twitch as a character that ate poo and got renamed Scatman. It's true. If you fed the camera more often, this wouldn't happen. Uh... If you put the face between you and the DBK, does it stop the ball? Nope, it's not an impossible train. Okay, so where does this go? Wherever you want. Five spaces away from board. So that's not wherever I want. Can you put it somewhere, please? I'm setting up these. Do it, Josh. Do it. Do it. There we go. Where do we start? Do it. Uh, we start in this blue zone here. Right there. Is that in the blue zone? I don't know. Uh, so it's two and two. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. <laughs> okay. Matt, you can stop us from eating the bug. Giant stone face is impassable, Gibberam says. For survivors. Not for... Monsters. Okay. Uh, we need to make a Twitch gaming glossary of Terminator. <laughs> we should. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, that. Now we're all in there. Okay. Okay, good, good. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so let's, here might die. let's review some of the stuff. Okay. What are we reviewing? Uh, Why salty? Oh, because they've got two speed. Two movement, rather. So heavy load. When the resin dung ball collides with the survivor, they lose the survival. Because <laughs> yelling Arby's in the game. That's cam goes why crazy. there's an Arby's command. <laughs> um, power forward. So at the start of each monster turn, you're gonna target the furthest stinky survivor, and then a random survivor, and then no target defensive spit sav, and then turn to face the target, perform ball or move the ball two d ten spaces through the target. So that's that's nasty. <laughs> that's very nasty. Then we've got the separation anxiety. So whenever the Dung Beetle Knight is away from the ball, he's going to gain that status update. Then we've got Ground Pound. 
and Ground Pound is going to uh, do the monster slam to the ground, precisely altering the thing. So any adjacent survivors suffer bash. And, uh, yeah, the ball hits you, more bad stuff. And then finally we've got Baller. So Baller is he's going to spin the ball around him and place it in front of him at the beginning of the turns. Right? Right. Yep. Coolio! Um, so survivors are not going first. Monster goes first. Yep. Who's monster controller? Where's the monster controller thing? Why is it over there? Because that's where it belongs. I put it back in the box. No, you didn't. I normally do. You, you did. You not. put that over there, yep, so I didn't put it in the box. Belongs. Next, um, I guess we'll start with red. I don't know. Okay, so what's he going to do first? He's going to do power forward. So power forward. Well, first he's going to do uh, power forward. Well, no. First he does baller. <laughs> no, first so he does power forward. Which baller which happens? Which then baller happens. The baller happens. But power forward happens first. But baller happens. So it's going to pick a target. So it's going to be a random survivor because none of us are stinky. Uh, no, nope, that's not true. Who's stinky? I'm stinky. Uh, I, mean, I got monster crystal. I'm sure you are stinky. So I'm going to die. Oh, that's right. You can right. put the face in front of the to stop the first ball rolling. I don't know about that. I don't think you can. I think the ball goes over it. Um, I want to. That's my face, though. Josh is looking it up. It smashes the impassable terrain. But monsters can go on top of the stone face. Yeah. Right? No? Maybe? It yes. break, it'll destroy the tile. It says it stops once it hits it. Oh, okay. But so then it, gets, it kills my face. But it does kill your face. Okay, that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to go here, right? Is it two spaces away from him? No, it's not. It needs to be two spaces away from it him. It can't be. Uh, can you move it, like, here? No, because it needs to be five spaces away from the board edge. Yeah, it's not going to work. Nope. Okay. So, still going to get hit. So, he's going to do baller. Can you dash? But I have two movements, so no, I can't dash anywhere. Uh, so, baller happened. He spun that around. So, now he's going to roll two D10s. So, chat, please roll two D10s. Roll out. Roll two ones. And, uh, do it, chat. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to die do here. It. You're going to die. Fourteen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it hit you. So what does that mean? You're gonna take five damage to two hit locations. So Josh. And then what's the monster's movement? The monster's got a movement of fourteen. No, that's not right. So why don't you update it? Um, what's wrong with you, Josh? What's wrong with you? That boy ain't right. It's gonna have a movement of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I also gonna lose survival. Uh, yep. Yeah. Every time One the survival. ball collides with you. So I'm at nine. Oh, DBK curse, Matt. So five damage. The hands and the feet. It's the agony of defeat. Uh, really. Two heavy hits, and I'm knocked down. Ball keeps going. Yeah, it says through the target. It, it hit the board edge, so I don't know where else it would go. Yeah. Unless it goes down the line of the board edge. I think it does, though. Yeah, Stop just moving out the board edge. Uh, angled. Oh, move it across it's the board edge. Yeah. Okay. 
So what was it? What was there? Fourteen. Fourteen. So you move here. Yeah, you move eight. Threw it in the corner. Okay. And just to confirm the monster was there, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Move it through the other survivors. No. So that is the end of that. Now we need monster's AI card. And he's going to get the resin sword slash. So the closest knockdown survivor in range, that's, that's going to be me. You, you are knocked down. She's going to attack you, so it's going to be a speed of how much, Josh? Four. Is that right? Yep, speed of four. So we're going to need 40 tens to be rolled. How much evasion do you have there, Josh? One, two, three. Three evasion? Three evasion. It's going to be a five plus to hit you. I'm probably going to die. And uh, that's two hits, I see. Seven, seven, nine, eight. That's four hits. That's good. It's real good. Couldn't we have surged to pick you? No, he still would have attacked. He still would have targeted you. Yep. That's with the plus one speed token. That's okay. It's not a team. Nope. It is uh, someone else. Oh, it's not? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's why your evasion's crap. Yeah. So, let's take a look here. Take a look. Two speed. It's in a book. So, so six, da seven damage a pop? Uh, Yeah, seven damage each. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, How's I that feel? I two of these. So I'll dodge it ahead. Okay. And the waist... No, the body. The body? Yeah. I think the body's a little bit more debilitating. So I'm going to... They're saying put two movement on the bald pushing duty if they live. I don't think they're going to live. All right. Waist. One. Do you have your reroll? Nope. Oh, you don't? You're dead. Nope. Dead. Very dead. So Josh... One on the waist. Final breath with your last gasp. You utter your final words of bravery. Adjacent survivors gain one survival. You're dead. My waist. Yeah, the killing blow pole has gone up. And right. then he's going to perform a basic action. Oh, Matt, we lost our Lance of Longinus. Longinus! So, Lance of Longinus. And then that's going to be discarded. He's going to perform a basic action. You've got the basic action? Yep. Okay, that's over here. And that is going to do this. Closest knockdown survivor. That's no one. Closest threat. That's Twitch. So he's going to move and attack. And uh, let's see. Twitch is It's going to be for five speed. Uh, yeah, that was the trapper. That was trapper. So five D10s. Uh, it's for three plus accuracy. Twitch has six evasion. So it's an eight plus. No. Nine plus. Six evasion. Six plus three is nine. So nine plus to hit. So eight, four, four, nine, two. So that is one hit. They have to dodge They have it. hypersensitive, so they no. have to dodge it. No, they are insane, right? No, uh, yeah. Oh, that's true. They just can use one insanity. They can. So ignore. go ahead and use one of their insanity and uh, ignore it because of the Phoenix placard. So then full move the monster towards the resin dung ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's let me move the camera a little bit. And that goes. I'll keep this over here. That's the basic action. Okay, so Mr. Tibbs, what's that top card looking like? Uh, Century Carapace. Mm -hmm. I don't. Shield, club. He needs to hit it. Shield or club? That's you. Can you get to it? Four, five, six, seven, eight. You sure can. I can. I'm assuming you're gonna run over there. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to dash. One, two, three. You're going to the blind spot? Yeah. In the butt? Okay, so go ahead. <coughs> My ball should have gone the other way. What no, other way? I think he's saying that he wanted to ram into all the other survivors. No. 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 All right, so I got two speed. Okay. Um, I have five. My weapon has five plus to hit. 
In the blind spot, that's a, that's a four plus. Did you get a plus one speed token? No, that was the other character that, that died. died. I, natural speed. So it's a four plus. I get plus two accuracy of clubs. That's a two plus. Two plus, and then I have eight natural accuracy. Okay. <laughs> two and a three. But those are two hits. Trap card. Two Sentry Carapace. Okay, so you're tagging this one first. This is the Sentry Carapace, and uh, you're going to roll a bunch of D10s. Yeah, a ton. So you just roll. One, two, I get two extra D10s. It's, so it's plus six toughness to wound. He's got 14 toughness, so that's 20. How much strength do you have? I have five on my weapon. Yeah. Nine natural strength, so that's, that's 14. 14. Um, so I have... And you roll a d10 for sharp, you roll a d10 for your strength, you roll two more d10s, and then you're... That's it. That's it. So you're going to roll four d10s, you need six combined on four d10s. Um, so the white one's my main one. Six, hey, hey, hey. three, four, nine. Yeah, you, you hit it. So wound, this reaction cannot be canceled. Instead of wounding the monster, archive this card and gain one survival. If you're attacked with a pickaxe, you did not. Okay. This guy just needs to breathe on the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I also have... Five natural luck. Is this archive it or? Yeah, archive. My base. Yeah. Okay. So then you're attacking this century carapace. So Josh, do it again. Yeah, that's a wound. That's another wound. So this reaction can't be canceled. You're going to gain a survival. Same thing. Just for you. And then next up, we've got what? Um, it is. He's going to do ground pound, which I don't want him to do. Just if you crit it. If I hit it. So just crit it. If I hit it. So just crit it. Uh, I, what do you want to do then? Um, Twitch could move closer. Let's and do hit location manipulation. Or they. Yeah, that's true. So we could have them move one, two, three, four, five, and then do hit location manipulation. So go ahead and do that. Yep. Okay. Now, why didn't you want it to do ground pound? Because you would have been knocked down. I got knocked down, and he brought the ball closer, and then he would perform baller. Baller. No, we go to the bug. They're going to the bug. So what's going on top there? Captain Meanie Pants. Is there a good crit one? There's a good crit one there. Nice one, accuracy. Yeah, I can go for that. Unless you just want to go for the sentry carapaces. I'll go for one of them. Okie doke. Okay. So, I have sweet battle. So it's a freebie. So it's a freebie. Go for it. Seven and a ten. You don't get anything for perfect, nope. but it's still nice. It means it's nice to, to know. All right, so what, do you want to, what are you doing? Um, let's do this one first. Okay. Filthy face. If you hit with a club or a shield, gain plus four strength. That's crit. Crit. That's uh, crit. The crushing blow dulls the monster's senses. It gains a minus one accuracy token. Archive this card. So, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one, reduce the monster's accuracy by one, and then this gets archived. Okay. Take a look. It's in a book. Okay. And now you're attacking the Sentry Carapace. Where is it? Okie doke. And this is... Yeah, you... you, you I, I beat it up. You beat it up. Um, gain one survival. That max survival, so... What's next? The other Carapace. Sentry Carapace. You want me to shoot it? I crit it. It's going to do basic action next. You did crit it, yeah. Um... Uh, that is correct. You remove it from the hit location deck, and it's out for the rest of the fight. So his basic action would be uh, full move the monster towards the resin dung ball after the attack. So he attacks, then resin dung ball. Okay. Uh, he's still going to do what? He still mm -hmm. tries to do baller, but he can't. That's it. I'm okay with him ending his turn next to the ball, I think. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you you want to do AI manipulation? Sure. I'll use my I'll use my turn to look at the top two AI cards. Yeah. There's his Swordmaster trait. We give him another plus one speed token. Put that on top. We'll get rid of it. Okay. 
Because he's not going to do it right now, so we'll have a whole kind of turn to... Um, I am then going to bank my movement as my sentry carapace. You don't want to go to stone face? I don't need to. Okay. <laughs> um, I can shoot him and get rid of that other sentry carapace. You lose his survival. I don't care. I'm going to shoot him. Okay. That's nine. That's a hit. So I'm attacking the sentry carapace. And let's see. So it is plus six toughness to win this location. So 20. it's 20. I have... Nine plus... Five. So I have 14. So I need to roll a six. Plus. It's a nine. Okay. So it's a wound. So I, I gained my survival. I'm up to max. Still was at max. That's fine. This goes away. Okay. Next up. Let the monster go. Okay. So monster control is going to pass to Twitch. Or no, green. Yeah. And uh, let's not draw an AI card. First, he's going to try to do baller, but he can't. He's going to try to do power forward, but okay. he can't. That's what it is. Which, in turn, cause him to try to do baller. Yes. He does. Then he's going to do basic action. So he's going to do a basic action. So basic action is going to target the closest knockdown survivor, which is no one, then the closest threat in range, which Me. is you. He's going to turn around, and he's going to attack, and he's going to roll for five speed. How much evasion do you have there, Josh? Um, I have none for my gear. But I have eight natural evasion. So it's a 10 to hit you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a feeling you're fine. If I had to guess. Oh, minus one accuracy. Still 10 to hit me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. People, why aren't you rolling? Looks like they are. Nine, nine, three, five, two. Those are all misses. And then he's going to run back to his ball. Hello, ball. I've missed you so much. You're so pretty and poopy smelling. He likes the poopy smell. All right. So that's the end of the monster's turn, just like that. It's our turn now. Okay. So Twitch is going to go five spaces closer. Wait for them to Wait for them to go. Because it, I want them to do hit location manipulation, but I don't want them to do it. Why not? You don't want to hit that. I can hit this now. He's not going to do ground pound. He's next to his ball. Oh. I don't care. Oh. Sorry, that makes sense. Unless they, well, unless I want to check the second one down. No, nope, too late. You already said you're gonna do I'm it. Asking. Nah, just do it. Beat him up. Two hits. So did you move to the butt? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a trap card. <laughs> Go to me into that. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry, I had to. Uh, so all survivors are doomed. Full move directly towards the attacker. If the monster is adjacent to the attacker, it picks them up and leaps high into the air. The monster lands next to the resin dung ball and slams the attacker inside. <laughs> uh, so place the monster in any space adjacent to the ball. There he is. Uh, you're going to su suffer five damage to two hit locations and gain the Smell World Survivor Status card. Yeah, that was completely my fault. Sorry, Josh. So Smell World, when you gain this, remove your survivor from the board and place him on this card. At the start of your act, roll a d10. On the result of an 8+, plus, you escape. Otherwise, gain a bleeding token. Uh, I rolled two bodies. Okay. Which means I have no more body armor, and I took a heavy hit. <laughs> okay. Um, so what, what does that... I'm so on it? You're, yeah, you're there. You have to roll an 8+, plus to escape. Otherwise, you get a bleed at okay. the start of your act. Okay. But someone can pull you out of the poopy ball. Okay. Okay. So, there you go. Go ahead and reshuffle. Looks longingly at Bug. This is what you get, Matt, for not letting us get to the damn bug. It didn't hit me. He cursed us. I was going to say for Chat to go to the bug and do the hit location manipulation. You said, no, I don't want him to do that yet. So, I'm just saying. IJS. I'm just saying. There. Twitch ignores Matt's cries for help and gets the bug. It weren't my cries for help. They're Josh's cries for help. Um, crit here, use minus one movement. So you should probably do that. I'm in a ball. You are. Uh, so Twitch is going to move five spaces closer. Two, three, four, five. And I Can am. Check hit locations. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I'm going to shoot it. What's the bad thing if I miss? Uh, nothing. Okay. Cool. I'm going to shoot him. I missed. But I have a bow. I get to redo my misses. So it's okay. That's another one. I failed. I'm going to sweet battle. 
That's one. Three ones in a row, Matt. Good job. You, you can reroll your misses still. That's a seven. I thought it was a one again, and I was going to cry. <laughs> so I'm attacking the iridescent log. Leg, not log. Uh, <laughs> so he's got 14 toughness. I've got nine plus six. Nine plus five. So uh, I need to not roll a one. I rolled a three. That's a, a wound. So Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. I did not crit him, though. Kaka on my mind. Okay. Um, it's the end of my turn. You gonna stay where you're at? He can't reach me. He's gonna toss his ball. He can't reach me. I'll dash if I need to. I'm gonna go ahead and bank my movement as a uh, okay. As a thing. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna bank one of my movements and then I'm gonna move because I have the antelope mass, so I get another movement. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move. One, two, three, four, five, and I'll chill over here. Okay. So now Monster Control is going to pass to Twitch. Let's draw that AI card. First, he's going to do what? Power forward. Power forward. So what is that? Uh, turn to face uh, furthest stinky survivor, fur random survivor. Okay, so we need a random survivor. I am blue and green. It's picked red. Okay, so it's Twitch. Okay. So it's face towards the survivor. Okay. Perform baller. So ball is going to spin it around. It's going to archive that terrain, and it's going to land in front of him. Then roll 2d10s. Okay, so 2d10s. Everyone's going to roll. Everybody roll. Everybody uno. Everybody play. Let's see how far the ball is going. And two spaces. Two spaces. One. Then what? Uh, full move the monster toward, towards the ball. <coughs> okay. You guys got the opposite of two tens. Uh, so now he's going to do over the shoulder. Over shoulder, boulder holder. Uh, this is the closest stinky threat, which is no one. Then the closest threat, which is me. Yep. So he's going to move an attack target. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. That's that's it. So you're dumb, Mr. Beetle. That's the end of the monster's turn. It's our turn now. Okay. You have to try and get out of your poopy ball. What do I need to roll? Uh one D ten. What do I need to roll though to get out? The D ten. <laughs> a ten. An eight plus. So that's a ten. So you are escaping. So when you escape, you're gonna place yourself adjacent to the ball. Archive this card, and you're going to gain the Dung Milk status card. So Dung Milk is uh, when you gain this, you are knocked down and suffer two brain damage to your body. That ignores armor. Don't you have no more body armor? No, nope, I don't. Wow, that's really terrible. That really sucks. So you're also going to get a minus one evasion and minus one accuracy token. Okay. Uh, and while you have Dung Milk, you're stinky. Okay. So... You're going to take a severe body injury, Josh. Right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're waiting for. That's nine. nine. That's, that's good. Two bleeds? believe so. I believe it's what gaping chest wound. No. It's collapsed lung. Minus one movement token. Gain a bleeding token. How do you milk a dung? <laughs> Ew. Uh, you, he was not already stinky. The other, oh. uh, the other survivor was that died. I got minus one evasion and minus one accuracy token. Correct Mundo, senor. Um, not that it matters much. Not that, that, definitely accuracy does not matter. Oh, Matt. What? You need to get smell world. I know, I do. <laughs> Make me great. <laughs> um, so do you want to go now? Do you want to bonk the? I want Twitch to check hit locations. All right. So Twitch, go ahead and check the hit locations and then they're going to move up to the bug because I know they are. But the poo has collapsed his lung. That's disgusting. It's really gross. You vomited so hard you collapsed your own lung. That's what happened. How does that make you feel? That's really gross. That's like really violent vomiting. Okay. Ew. That's... Ew. Ew. Someone's there. 
And what are you doing there, Joshy? <laughs> Shudders. Yeah, that's... Ugh. You have a lung full of dung milk. Think about what that means, Josh. It's gross. Ten and a six. That's two hits. This sounds horrible. Stop. So you're attacking the filthy resin sword. So Josh, go ahead and attack the filthy resin sword. That's, That's a crit. crit. So the blow shatters the weapon. The attacker gains plus one survival and the regenerating blade rare gear. The monster suffers knockback five and gains a damage token. I didn't realize about the knockback five. I hate you. <laughs> so what happens to me? I get knockback five, five, two, three, four, five. Am I knocked down? Uh, yeah. And so I've got the regenerating blade rare gear. Do you want to stand me back up, please? I don't know where to put it in my gear grid, though. Just get rid of something. Get rid of the denticle axe. I'll get rid of the elder earrings. That makes more sense. But then I lose two movement. <laughs> Deal with it. So what is that gear, anyways? I want to see it. Josh, I want to see it. Stop touching me. Josh, I want to see it. This is inappropriate, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so the regenerating blade here. That's this bad boy. And this is a left green, right blue. And this is during the settlement phase, you may archive this to remove the dismembered arm or dismembered leg permanent injury from one survivor. That's nothing special. Let's flip it over. Calcified Juggernaut Blade. That sounds cool. One speed, five plus accuracy, nine strength, slow, block one. This weapon gains plus one strength for each token you have. Gains minus one damage token. No, what? that's the text under the card. Oh. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was super confused. That aligned, like, perfectly. <laughs> um, that's interesting. So what are you getting rid of? You're getting rid of your elder earrings? Yeah. Deal with it. You namby-pamby. Okay, so Filthy Resin Sword. Uh, this is a persistent, so this is going to affect some AI cards. Broken Blade. What What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out my movement. Not enough. It's one. Good. So what's up next? Um, I'm not going to hit the other location because he's out of range now. Yep. So what's that next card looking like? Uh, he's going to crush a keystone to make the ball come closer. Ooh, off. I don't want to do that. Um, you could leave me knocked down, I guess. He's going to attack you. You crit him, so he's going to do his basic, and that's going to be the close. Oh, it's going to attack me. Closest knockdown. I'd rather. You, you can stand up at the beginning of the turn before he does that. I do. And then yeah. what is it? Closest threat in range. So it's still me. But then I could dash away, and I'm going to be too far away from him. Okay. So that's okay. Um, cool. So what are you doing now, Josh? You want to stand me up just so I can shoot it? I, we, I don't want to do the keystone. Just went over that. Yep. So Twitch is going to spend a survival, and okay. they're going to check the bug. <laughs> so let's see what they roll. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Who's Roland? Lone Star. Roll the nine. What's a nine, Josh? One random bug resource. They got, the bug. they got a bug. They got a bug. They got a bug. They got a bug. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Captain Falcon's here. Hi, Captain Falcon. You don't have to hold them so tight. Thanks, everyone. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Zeftis. Get the bug. Eat the bug. So you got the Lonely Ant. So the Lonely Ant is archive this to swap your insanity and survival values. There's no reason for you guys to do that. Nope. Okay. You hold that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, so you guys got the bug. I'm not doing anything else because Josh won't stand me up because he hates me. Um, I'm going to extend you up. Do you want to check AI cards? No. No? I don't. Okay. Um, cool. So it's going to be the end of the monster's turn. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, the end of our turn. It's not the monster's turn. I'm going to stand back up. Okay. He's going to perform his basic action. So his basic action is going to target me, and then I'm going to dash. So I'm going to go, he can move seven spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five spaces away. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's going to be like, hey, what are you doing over there? I don't like you. I'm going, to, I'm going after you. And then he's going to full move back towards the ball. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> so that's the end of the monster's turn. Okay. <laughs> monster's really derpy if you run away from it. Thanks, him. everyone. We really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. What's the Eurystheus? Eurystheus? I don't know. I think that's it. Um, okay, so what do you want to do now? Do you want to cross the keystone? Yeah. How about we have chat uh, check the hit locations? Sure. I think that makes the most sense. So chat, you're going to check the hit locations. Them are hit locations. Josh is moving at turtle speed right now. Ooh, bot flies. I forget what that does. But there's bot flies, crush that at you, roll a d10 and add your courage. So we're fine. Because we all have courage up the wazoo. Yep. That's actually the technical term, the wazoo. Yep. Kind of like, I don't know if I actually want to pick up this regeneration blade and just uh, kept what I had. Too late. You already did it. One freaking movement. Deal with it. Salty McSalty pants. You could, just, you could move, use your two movement to go kick the ball. Right? I don't ha I have one movement. Yeah. I would need to dash. Yeah. Kick the ball. You put this in whatever order you want. <laughs> Josh is super salty right now. It's just going to be kicking a ball. <laughs> I'm just going to be kicking a ball. I don't want to. This is mean. Um, okay. Okay. Sure. D5, I rolled a 3, so it's 2. 1, 2. Okay, so I put the sentry carapace on top. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and shoot it. Uh, it's a 5, that's a hit. So I'm doing the sentry carapace. I need to roll a 6 plus. And let's see what I get. It's a 10. That's a wound. So uh, I'm going to up my survival, but I'm at max, so this just goes away. Okay. And then next up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to surge. I have sweet battle, so I get a freebie. And I rolled a Throw one. On. It's a miss, but I'm going to redo that. And it's six. So now I've got the swarm of bot flies. So swarm of bot flies is a swarm of leeches, or bot flies rather, gushes from out under the dung beetle knight's armor. Roll a d10 and add your courage. If the result is greater than my monster level plus five, it already is. So I don't need to roll. Okay. So I'm just going to ignore it. So that goes no. away. Is it greater than... If the result is greater than monster level plus okay. five, okay. my courage is greater than yeah. seven already. Yeah. I said that. Yep. So yep. now I'm going to archive this card. Nothing else happens. Okay. okay. Like I said. I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, the, that's it for my turn. Uh, you, you, do you want to do anything else, though, Josh? Um, no, I think <laughs> I'm good. Uh, should be a new roll. No? All right. Uh, there isn't a crit of a roll of one penalty. No, there's not. No, no. Um, who's closest? Twitch. Twitch is indeed closer. Okay. So does Twitch want to attack? That's the question. They checked hit locations already. They had it moved, so they have to spend two survival to kind of do all that. Ah. Uh, so I think they're just going to get attacked. Probably, and I think they're okay with that. All right. So. So, Twitch, it's going to be the end of your turn. You're going to stand there stoically. It's going to be our turn now. Oh, Arby's. Hi. <sighs> Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, Arby's is happening now. Um, it's really, really distracting when that happens. Yep. So, Monster's going to do the ball top spin. So, this is do not perform this card. Instead, perform ground pound, then a basic action. So what's ground pound, Josh? Uh, roll d10. Okay. And the ball's going to move d10 spaces closer to the monster? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's inverted now. No, I think it was. No, yeah, that's right now. Because the blue survivor was behind my head before. Oh. And let's see. It's going to move four spaces. So one, two, three, four. You can okay. kick it in one spot of you now. He's going to run back to the ball after he does his basic, he so is. I might be able to actually smack him. Nah. All right, so he's going to do his basic action, so he's going to target Twitch, so he's going to run up to them. He's going to roll five D10s, and how much evasion do they have? Uh, six. 
So it's gonna hit them on a nine plus. Uh, they have, he has also some minus one accuracy. Ten. It's gonna hit him on a ten. It's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, so it hits Twitch on a ten only, and they get to ignore three hits. Yep. Because they've got hypersensitive. They've got. Uh, That's three hits. Oh wow! <laughs> Damn. Damn, so chat. they're going to spend one survival to use the Phoenix Placard, and then they're going to spend... That's I'm sorry, no. one Insanity to use the Phoenix Placard. Then they're going to spend two survival to use both Extra Sense and Hypersensitive. So... No, that's, technically they could do four. Because it's dodge. Yes, you're right. They could do four hits. It's pretty impressive, actually. Um, and then they're going to full move the monster towards the Resin Dung. Monsters. So what does the next card do? Um, if he's not Jason, he's going to um, move the ball 1d10 spaces towards the monster, cancel the reaction on this hit location. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So he's not adjacent. If you dash, you can get to him, Josh. Yeah. The next two cards are good. Sure. Okay. You know, ba -do. Go ahead and roll, buddy. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, rolling. <laughs> Six and a four. Two hits. <laughs> All right. So, oh, I forgot about that one. Throw about pies. Whatever. I forgot about that one. Sorry about that. Um, Actually, no. No what? Because I don't have to do this first. You don't. So we're going to do this. True. You go. So, filthy gut. So go ahead and roll. Monster Crush needs to move that spa much spaces. He's gonna He's roll. Only it, gonna it, move it only it needs like to move one space to be adjacent to him. Yeah. So go ahead and roll now. So I can roll now. You have a lot of dice you roll, but whatever. It's not a crit. It's not a crit, but it the is reflex is canceled. Why is the reflex canceled? Because he broke his keystone. Oh, cancel the reaction on this location. Yeah. Okay. So it is a wound, though. So please yep. reduce the monster's life total by one. And what are you attacking next? The side of the resin ball. So go ahead and roll, Josh. Uh, so this one's impervious. So, you know. It's a crit. It's a crit. You attack, uh, your attack luckily spins the ball, crashing it into the monster. Gain one survival, the monster's knocked down. So I need a knockdown marker for the monster. I need a knockdown monster for the marker monster. Monster marker. Okay. So monster's knocked down. Uh, Matt, can you hit it? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I need to move three spaces closer. You can do that. It's true. I do have a free movement action, so. And you already got your two tokens. I know. Can you move me three spaces closer? You're just. You're closer. One, two, three. I'm like, hey guys, look, I'm Legolas. And I hit him. Perfect hit, too. I've been rolling 10s or 1s today. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and roll this, because I don't have to. So, Swarm of Bot Flies, I cancel it out automatically. It's fine. All right, so Twitch is going to move closer and check out locations, I think, right? Uh, unless you want me to... Uh, wait, do you want me to sweep battle and attack that one? Um, because then... It's impervious, so you can't do anything? What's... The point of hitting it. What do oh, I get? It's the exact same thing I just hit credit. Exact same card. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna sweep battle it. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. So six, that's a hit. So I am attacking the side of the resin ball. That's a two. Uh that is a failure. Doesn't matter though. Uh, uh, the text still happens. He's knocked down. Oh, it's not a reaction. Not uh, a reaction. The monster guides the attack into the side of the ball, making a demoralizing echoing sound. Unless the attacker is deaf, they lose all positive attribute tokens. And two survival. Two survival. Not a big deal. I lose my plus one accuracy token. Not a big deal. Yeah. So I lose two survival. Okay. So now we could have chat um, go after the... The hit location manipulation to because okay. then you still could surge, right? Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Though. Though? Oh, you want to kick the ball, don't you? Why don't you kick the ball and then chat will No. What? What? 
So at the beginning of the next turn, yeah, I could surge to kick the ball. Then, is there a flow? Yeah. So f pick target. Okay. Flow. He can't perform baller because the ball's not next to him. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Can he not? Just wait, no. He still can perform baller. It doesn't say to move to the ball. It doesn't, but it doesn't say to not do baller. <laughs> so My assumption is he needs to be It says to turn to face a target and perform baller. So baller is the monster spins the ball around itself with tremendous force. The only time it doesn't say not to do baller is when you had the very beginning of this card with the green. That's how I read it, because it still says perform baller. Like, if I'm doing it, like, completely from that, he kind of, like, forced grabs the ball back to himself. <laughs> Just dumb. Yeah. Not a fan of the way that's written, but whatever. So kick it now. Okay. <laughs> uh, could be a Poots oversight. Maybe. Okay, so you kick the ball. Don't kick the baby. Uh, it doesn't say baller if within range. So much crumbles. Yeah, Josh is Mr. Crumbles today. How you doing today, Mr. Crumbles? How far is Twitch from hitting? Uh, they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces away. All right, and they so have reach. I think they should check out locations. Yeah, because they have three speed. So they're going to check the top four. Uh, so, well, does the baller card stipulate a range? It doesn't. It just says the monster spins the ball around itself. So, let me show it off there. So, baller, the monster spins the ball around itself with tremendous force. All survivors in the red zone are suffered collision with the ball. Uh, archive all destructible terrain in the red zone. Place the resin dung ball in front of the monster. So, from my understanding, it would still happen, if I had to guess. So, what order are you putting those in there, Joshi? Are there any persistent injuries? Yes, one persistent okay, injury. Okay, so that's going to go on top. And I'm going to move them over, and they're going to have to dash. Yep. So, I'm going to put them not next to the monster. Okay? Sure. So, they're using one survival, but they have sweet battle. Right. And so, 3D10s. Yep. And no tactics being used. Chat. Everybody roll. You know what they hit on? A number. Three plus because he's knocked down. That was a little quiz there. I'm proud of you. You passed. Three is also a number, so that's pretty good. I mean, it is a number. Are you sure? Sometimes. Uh, so four, eight, three. So that's three hits. So which one are they attacking first, there, Jay Bear? We'll do the precision injury first. Okay, so th you're going to attack the filthy wings first. So go ahead. You're going to roll two d tens. Uh, the first one's going to be for your strength. The second one is for your sharp. You have seven strength. Your weapon has four strength, so that's an 11. Uh, so you need to roll a three plus combined with the two dice. Yep. Yeah. And uh, if it's a wound, it's a crit because you guys have axe mastery. Yep. That's one. That's failure. But you but have axe specialization, so you get to redo your misses. You get to redo one. One miss. One so failure. I think this is a good one. Yeah. Um, just because resources are nice, too. And then the monster gains a minus one toughness token, so it's easier to hit going forward. <sighs> good What's stuff here. Spear mastery. Spear mastery is some stuff happens. You can attack through someone else and give them the priority target token. That's what it is. It's rolled an eight, uh, sorry, a six and a ten. So that is going to be a crit. Gain one Elytria, uh, Elytra. Dung Beetle Knight Resource. The monster gains a minus one toughness token. So, Josh, please reduce the monster's toughness by one. Uh, he's going to gain the Persistent Injury Broken Wings. And this is the Elytra here. So it's that see-through thing. Uh, the ribbed underside of these large shells and makes an ideal surface to grind weapons. A survivor may archive this to give all of their attacks in the next showdown sharp. So minus one toughness? Indeedly doodly, neighborooney. And um, then also, this is going to be a persistent injury of broken wings. When the monster performs defensive spit salve, roll a d10. On a result of one, the monster is knocked down. On a two, uh, instead, on a two plus, it walks as normal. 
using its movement instead of placing. Okay. So movement instead of placing. Okay, whatever. I just got the Elytra here. And then what are you attacking next? Did you do some monsters life total by one? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, so next up you're attacking the... F Either one of these. Filthy Claws. So, chat, you know the deal. Two more D10s. Let's see what you got. So remember, reactions are canceled because he's knocked down. So that's good. Um, how much luck? They've got two luck, plus they've got deadly, plus they've got a luck charm. And they get luck from their armor. Yeah. Well, that's right. They're all the one. Okay. So it's uh, failure. That's failure. And they already redid their yep. failure. So that's that goes away. So then you guys are attacking the iridescent back. So two more D10s. You guys are rolling ones like cray cray. And so again, the it's canceled on this one. Do we have pottery? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's not a great one to crit. Somebody's not terrible, but it is a crit though, uh, because they've got their armor gives them plus one luck. They've got two natural luck, so that's a seven plus, and then they've actually got a, a luck charm, so a six plus is what they crit on. Uh, so if the settlement has innovated pottery, you discover a weakness. The attacker gains plus one strength and accuracy tokens. You may also archive a sentry carapace hit location in the discard pile. There are none in the discard pile, but you guys are going to get a plus one strength and plus one accuracy token. And go ahead and put those in the discard pile. Okay. And that is the end of your turn. Uh, we have all gone now. It's going to be the monster's turn. Okay. So monster control is going to pass to green. That's Josh. And we're going to draw the next AI card because you did not crit him, or did you crit him? Did not crit him. Okay, so you are going... He's going to do backspin shot. Uh, so backspin shot is do not perform this card. Instead, perform ground pound in a basic action. So ground pound, we're going to need a d10 to be rolled. Hopefully you guys got one more one left in you. What? Well, he's going to go to his ball anyway. It's not a big deal. He's not. I'm going to get knocked down, though. But you'll get up again? Uh, never going to keep you down. You've just got a really big knockdown token there. Uh, seven. So... Then he's going to perform a basic action, so it's going to target you. Okay. Because it attacks the target closest to knockdown survivors. He's going to roll 5d10s. How much evasion do you have there, Josh? Um, do with my minus evasion token? Seven. Uh, I lost the basic card. You took it back from me. Okay. That's why. And the basic card is going to be a 3 plus accuracy, so it's still a 10 to hit you. Yep. <sighs> You're ridiculous, Josh. I'm just letting you know. So, guys, we need some more rolls. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What happened to my arm? My arm got cut off, Josh. Ow! 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 Chat's taking a sweet time to roll. I wouldn't talk about people taking their sweet time today, Josh. No, I don't know what you're talking about. So, chat rolled a four, five, four, ten, three. So, you're going to get hit one time for five damage. I'll dodge it. Okay. Actually... Doesn't he, isn't he supposed to have a plus one damage token, Josh? No. He, I did minus one damage to one of the hits with the crit. Ah, uh, so only four damage. So then full move the monster towards the dung ball. He's there already. Okay, so the basic card's going to go here. It's going to be the end of the monster's turn. It's back to our turn. So what's that top hit location looking like there, Josh? Uh, the, mumble, the monster su stumbles backwards. It suffers knockback three directly away from the attacker. Perform ground pound. Nope. I like to stand up now. Okay. Are you hitting it? I would like Twitch to check the hit locations first. Chat, you know the drill. Check the hit locations. And I like to move over here. You can't. Why? Oh, chat. Chat. Okay. They will move over there. Why there? Because um, if I do the knockback three... He doesn't get knocked into them. But if you do the knockback there, he's going to go one, two, three. So why wouldn't they go there? So if maybe they can attack. Because uh, I'm most likely going to crit it. Look at your, look at your selfish self. The right trap card is here. Okay. I can trigger that if you want to put it three down so I can shoot it right after you attack. Because I'm out of range. Because he's a big, dumb idiot. He is a big dumb idiot. That's true. Um, so then there's a super dense, there's a parry, some resources in there. There's some stuff, some things. Yeah, Anyone way. in chat backed Crypt by Road? Never heard of it. Oh, I 
dropped in it. You should probably attack first. I'm just two and two a four. four. That's, That's two hits. Two hits. <laughs> Chat does this. Chat proceeds to not have any input. <laughs> what would you guys like to do? I'm sorry if we haven't been reading it enough. Um. This one's fine first. Okay, so the iridescent abdomen, abdomen. So go ahead and attack, buddy. It's a crit. That's a crit. Gain one random Dug Beetle Knight resource. The monster vomits chunks of boiling resin that hit the ground and momentarily form an unhappy face. Uh, gain plus one strength token. You may spend four survival to cherish this moment forever. If you do, gain plus one permanent strength. Sure. How much permanent strength do you have there, Josh? Uh, that should be ten. <laughs> And we got a compound eye. So this is mildly creepy. Mildly, mildly creepy. What are you, wait, what are you doing, Exelon? Why are you saying do it? I don't know why you're... Oh, yeah. You better be getting that plus one permanent strength. You better. Okay. No, not okay. I got it. Say I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I got it. Say I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> That's a crit. That's a crit. I don't know what you're doing, but you're critting it. So this is the untrained parry. Uh, so this is gain one random dung beetle night resource. So do you just flex and moon the monster? Pretty much. Yep. Uh, so you got a scarab shell. So scarab shell, cool and oily to the touch. Lantern light reveals a brilliant band of colors dancing on its surface. Okay. And then I have the trap on top for you. You've activated the tarp card. No, I am. So I'm going to go ahead and attack. It's a hit. So what does the trap card do there, Josh? So the tarp card is going to be all survivors are doomed. Full move directly towards the attacker. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, he's not next to me, so that's just going to be the end of his turn. Okay. So you're dumb, Mr. Beetle. Okay. So go ahead. So they're asking if they can nibble on it. You guys you guys can nibble on it. Just don't eat it. I would like to build some rolling armor. That'd be good. Right? Mm. 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 <laughs> Why are you honking? Are you like part goose today? Honk, honk. Ooga. Apple, peaches, pumpkin pie. There you go. What's on top? Something good? What is, it, what is it? Reflex ground pound. Uh, so just have Twitch attack it. They could hit it from an angle. They can. They don't have to be adjacent to it. Uh, can we fist and tooth the DBK so we can eat him one bite at a time? Um, yeah, do you want can. Twitch to attack him? Or Twitch, do you guys want to attack him, or do you want me to shield bash him? Because I can still shield bash. Um... Kind of might want to shield bash. You can get knocked down. I don't really care. So I just yeah. want to get my weapon proficiency, to be completely honest. But since you crit, his basic would attack me because... You stand up beforehand, though. You're still going to get attacked if you're still the closest. Unless you stand me up and then I just run away now, and then I can dash at the beginning of the monster's turn. Yeah. Are you calling Josh a jerk by calling him a goose? He knows that he's a jerk, goose. Goose Matt jerk. shield bash? Uh, since he's offering. I mean, I'm just offering, you know, because geese are dicks. Geese are dicks. Wait, I'm shield bashing because geese are dicks? Yep. I'm confused now. Why are you bashing the agency of shield? Okay, so I'm going to use my screaming antelope um, thing, the, the antelope mask, to run up next to him. And I'm going to shield bash him with my sweet battle. Uh, so it's one speed, six plus accuracy. I've got only one natural accuracy? I thought I had more. So it's five plus. Five plus. That's a perfect hit. No, it's a ten. So I'm attacking the Filthy Claws. So Filthy Claws. Um, I've got five strength. <sighs> Weapons got five strength, so I need to roll a three plus. Okay. That's three. That's wound. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. He's going to perform ground pound. So chat, please roll a d10. Let's see what he's got there, Pilgrim. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrim. Welcome to the first Thanksgiving, Pilgrim. And it's a nine. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Pew, pew, pew. And it doesn't hit him. So he, the ball's next to him. Twitch can kick the ball. Twitch can kick the ball. Twitch, do you guys want to kick the ball? Or do you should. want to try to attack the monster? I think they should kick the ball. Don't kick the baby. Roll D10. I'm asking them. I'm asking them, Josh. Josh. Yeah, I'll take it. Dang it, I'll take it. Let's kick, kick it. it. Go. Kick the ball. Kick the baby. Okay, so roll a D5. Now I'm feeling, feeling so fly like a D5. Wait a minute. Like a D5. Like Just a Don't D5. roll a one twitch. Oh, I'm knocked down. Yeah. Because of the ground pound. Yes. It's a two. One, two. There we go. It's not just doing it anymore. It's all that matter. All right, Josh, do you want to stand me up? I don't Twitch stand you up. They have more survival than I do. I don't think Twitch wants to stand me up. Um, I'll have them stand me up, and then I will go ahead and I will dash right now. So please move me five spaces further away from the monster. Okay. Okay, so I'm using one of my survival. That's the end of my turn. It's the end of Twitch's turn. It's the end of your turn. We've all gone. Okay. So monster control is going to pass to Twitch. Let's draw an AI card. Oh, uh, you crit it. So it's going to do his basic. Yep. So his basic action is going to be the closest knockdown survivor. No one. Then the closest threat. So Twitch. So Josh, have it move up to Twitch. We're going to have it roll 5d10s. It's going to hit Twitch on a 10 because it's got 3 plus accuracy. They've got 6, eva six evasion. So that's nine, and he's got a minus one evasion token, uh, minus one accuracy token. Yep. So that is a ten. I like the ball actually, design wise. It's one of those KDM things I wish I had. It's actually very pretty for being made of poop. It's got a lovely mustache too. So the funny thing is, Fen actually sculpted this one himself. Uh, it's made out of real human excrement. Right? Did you see the new one he painted? The new dung ball? I did not. Uh, he did the little designs inside the dung ball. There's designs inside the dung ball. Uh, if you look at the Flower Knight story, not in this one. Not in this one. How did he paint on the inside? It's two pieces you glue together. So you painted it while it was open. Oh, okay. Twitch got one hit. They're going to use one of their insanity to ignore hit. Oh, excuse me. Right. And then he's going to move full move towards the ball. I don't know that's where the ball was. Was right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> smack, <laughs> smack it around more, please, Matt. Okay. Um, what's next? It's our turn. It's our again. turn. Okay. So, what's that top card looking like? Um, it's impervious. Nothing great. I'll shoot it. That's a two. That's a miss. Reroll my misses. That's a two. That's a miss. I'm going to sweep battle. Seven, that's a hit. All right, so now I'm attacking the side of the resin ball. So the monster guides this attack into the ball. So I'm going to lose two survival and all positive attribute tokens. I have crit. no positive attribute tokens, so that's okay. But I crit. Because what my bo all of my bows gain deadly, too. Yep. So I, I crit. I'll just knock them. Uh, your attack luckily spins the ball, crashing it into the monster. Gain of survival, so I go back up to eight survival, and uh, the monster's knocked down. But he'll get up again. We're never really going to keep him down. So I think Twitch is going to check hit locations and then surge to do some damage. Probably. It's probably the best bet. So remember, they look at the top four. Yep. I want you guys to, to beat it up. I could be punny too, damn it. Uh, Daft Haru indeed wished Zen was here to pass that to. I don't know what... Zenith? Zen, Zen, okay. Zen, 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 Zen. All right, so why don't you move them closer? 3D10s. You know what they hit on? 3+. plus. Why? Because they're cool. Because it's knocked down. So if they're all one, it all fails. Ooh, I forgot about that. Because they've got early Iron. It's actually the cousin of Elrond Hubbard. It's Iron. It, it's hard to read chat. You guys, it, 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 it's difficult. Zenith is always busy. I wonder why. Uh, so they rolled a four, a th an eight, and a three. So what does that mean, Josh? You're going to beat it up. What? You're going to beat it up. How so? They're going to kill it. So the iridescent leg. Wait, how much? What do you mean they're going to kill it? 
Uh, they're not going to kill it. But so gonna... go ahead and roll 2d10s. The first one is your strength. The second one is your sharp. Uh, you don't need very much. You need like a two combined from your two dice. So just don't roll a one on the first one. You're fine. Right? Right. Right? Right. Right. Right? Right. 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 Uh, they rolled one. But they, can try again. they have X specialization, so they could redo that. Might as well. So one more time, folks. One more time. Ah, it's a two. That's a two. It's not a, a one. one. So it is a success. So go ahead and reduce the monster's life total by one. This is going to go on the side. And what's up next? You're going to attack the Iridescent Abdomen. So the Iridescent Abdomen, please roll two more d10s. Same drill. Second verse, same as the first. You're attacking the Iridescent Abdomen. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. No, well, likes to pee his pants. <sighs> something, something, something. So it is another wound. Please reduce monster's life total by one. And uh, reactions are canceled because of uh, the mm -hmm. monster being knocked down. So the final one, the iridescent breastplate. Two more d10s, folks. One is for the wound. One is for the sharp. Let's see how sharp we are here. We got it, folks. We're doing good. Doing good. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Four and a six. That's another wound. We They should be critting more. But they're having trouble. Having trouble getting it up? Their rolls. Getting their rolls up. <laughs> yeah. What's the monster's life at right now? Uh, three. Maybe you should update that. Oh. Instead of making inappropriate jokes. Um, I'm going to dash one forward. Okay. I'm going to move one forward. Okay. I'm going to kick the ball. Okay. It's five. That was a really good kick there, Josh. I know. I'm good. I want to turn his face so it's like, hey, I'm Mr. Poop Ball. Okay. So it's the end of our turn. It's on the monster's turn. I'm going to be a monster controller. Okay. I want, let me see that card. I want to beat some people up. Did you crit it? No, you didn't. Nope. I didn't touch it. So he's going to do the ball top spin. So he's going to ground pound instead. So chat, T10. So Chat's going to get hit. Yeah, there he is. So where's ground pound? Is there a flow on it? No, there's not. Oh, there is. Yeah, um, there is. When? So they can um, dash. They right could dash now. now yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna ignore that they dashed. So please reduce their survival. Do that. Uh, so the ball's gonna move how much? Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Uh, so now. He is going to yep, uh, basic action. perform Sorry. a basic action. So he's going to go and attack either you or Twitch. Do you have a preference? Me. Okay. Because I don't have to run after him. He's going to go back where he was anyways. Uh, so 5d10 is going to hit Twitch on a 10. <laughs> I like how chat's like, I'm one, I'm want to roll a 1. Why do you guys want to roll a one so bad? They're, they're, he, he's fighting with uh, Ice Chamber on the most ones. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they both want to be the one kings. Gotcha. I wonder why they're fighting over that designation. And Ice Chamber's not here today. Oh. So Ebron, but the thing is, Ebron's not here next week in Ice Chamber, so it's kind of going to be equal. Quote, one, two, three. You're having trouble getting your rolls up, aren't you? You didn't say rolls, though. Uh... It's one hit. I'll it is one it. hit. You were going to dodge it? Are you sure? Yeah, I almost have a survival, though. Okay, so then he's just going to run back to his. Well, you spent... No, he, he just goes to Jason to it. So he's going to go right here. He's going to go boom. Okay. Um. Yeah, so it's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Okay. Twitch going to check hit locations? Well, wait. What's the top one? The impervious... I'm going to shoot it. If you want to shoot it, you could, that's fine. Uh, it's three. That's a miss. It's a four. That's a hit. I remember was visiting in Florida. He's not from down here. Uh, so he, I'm attacking the side of the resin ball. That's crit. 
Your attack luckily spins the ball, crushing it in. So I'm going to get plus one survival, and the monster's knocked down. Monster got knocked down, but he'll get up again. Never going to keep him down. He gets knocked down, but he gets up again. He gets knocked down. Twitch is going to check. Is it worth kicking the ball again? No, he's got three life left. We're going to kill him. Ooh. There's two persistent injuries. Ooh, put him on top. Let Twitch beat him up. Let Twitch beat him up. Do it. Is it possible to knock the ball over? No. No. It's a sphere. How does that even work? (laughs) (laughs) All right. So Twitch is going to go and smack him. Yep. So Twitch, did they need to be not next to him or what? Um, Just move him there. It doesn't matter. So chat, 3D10s. Uh, they had to use a survival to do that, but no, they're going to use a survival action to do that, but they have sweet battle, so yes, it's a freebie. Freebie Phoebe. Yeah, let's punch him in his face, his big, dumb, stupid face. So two plus hits him. One. No, three plus hits. Three plus hits because he's knocked down. But a one fails everything. Everything. I like how my accuracy goes down when the monster's knocked down. Yeah. Mine doesn't. But I'm a nub. Five five three. <laughs> Can we eat his horn? No, wait, let's not do that. Um so first up, you guys are attacking the iridescent horn. So go ahead, roll two D tens. Um you need to roll a three combined with your two dice, and given the fact that means that the first one cannot be a one, uh anything so if you just don't roll a one on the first die, you're fine. Second die doesn't matter. So bot needs five people to trigger the rolls. Yep. Six. That is a crit. Okay. So you well, it's a crit anyways. So you break the monster's horn, gain the iridescent horn, dung beetle knight resource. Persistent injury, broken horn affects some cards. Uh that's mean, Daphne. Uh so the beetle horn, that looks so cool in the camera. So uh we could we could do some stuff. We can do some stuff and some things. So then next up is the hidden Manda Blaze. So, chat, two more D10s. Josh, did you reduce monster's life total by one? Yep. I don't think you did. I didn't update on the overlay, but I updated you it. You said you did, but you didn't, because I'm watching you do it right now. I updated it here, in the real life. Sure. In the RL. But, like, you were blaming the overlay for taking too long to refresh. No. no. You, you were. I, I know you were. That's a crit. That's a crit. Even the attack the ruins the precise mandibles inside the monster's face. If the attacker is within two spaces of the monster and able to consume, oh, there's not even a choice there. Uh, so they're going to spend two survival, and they're going to nimbly eat a glob of resin spit. So he spit in your mouth. You thought it was delicious. Gain plus one permanent evasion. So, Josh, please increase their evasion by one. Update their sheet, too. I sure will. So they have seven natural evasion now. It's a lot. I'm, I'm sure you guys are super happy. And so this is going to uh, give them a broken mouth. They, they they made out with the monster and got some spit in their mouth. They they did. Uh, yeah, you guys have seven natural evasion. Not evasion with your gear. Seven natural evasion. Right, last hit. Last hit. You guys are attacking the iridescent arm. Two more D10s. Let's see what we got. It tastes like victory. <laughs> Um yeah. That's a crit. If the attacker is three plus courage and is adjacent to the monster, they're not. Uh so that is the last wound though, so we killed the monster. Yay! Stupid dung beetle knight killing our noob. Why do you have to kill our nub? It's not nice. Our nub? It's not nice, Joshua. It's just not nice. So rewards. The group investigates, or first the aftermath, we're going to get plus one hunt XP, plus one weapon proficiency, and rewards. I'm a club master. What does that mean? Besides, you can go... (sighs) It means I'm going to... Oh, I... Matt, on a perfect hit, I double my wound attempt total on the first selected hit location. That's my specialization. Oh. That's, That's nasty. Uh, so we are all going to... No, this is the mastery. This is what I get. I'm saying, w- mastery. So when a club master attacks with the club, if a successful wound attempt total is greater than or equal to the f- uh, twice the monster's toughness, so that's pretty much always for you. Yep. Uh, inflict an additional wound. So then the everyone is going to get 
the club proficiency, which is when attacking with the club on a perfect hit, double your wound attempt total on the first selected hit location. You never did that. No. Why? I you double my wound attempt total? Yeah. So I double what my total is? It didn't really matter because I was always wounded anyway. Like That's true. You never failed it. I never failed it. That's but true. now I get that on a perfect hit. If I double the toughness of the monster, I do an additional wound. Yeah. Um, it's good. It's good. Uh, I need the shield specialization. Oh, you got that? Yep. Okay. So shield spec is going to be... No, that's well. Uh, I thought I saw it out, actually, uh, before. I have it right here. Oh, okay. So the shield specialization, and that is going to be when you're... Uh, wh while you have a shield in your gear grid, you are no longer knocked down after collision with the monster. And I'm also going to get plus one additional armor to all hit locations. So that's actually really good for me, because I'm running almost a naked with shield build. Okay, and then we are going to uh, gain... The group investigates the large dung resin ball and the network of tunnels beneath the battleground. Inside the ball, they find a caustic but mineral-rich substance. Rolling aside the ball, they find passageways leaning deeper underground. After collecting rewards, we're going to do spelunking of death. But in the meantime, we're going to get seven basic resources. Those are How dung many? Beetle Knight. Six dung beetle knight resources. Almost got the whole thing. Oh, which one didn't we get? A fingernail. That's fine. So we got the sentry shell. We got scarab shell. We got scarab shell. We got some yummy, yummy underplate fungus, uh, some scarab wing, and then the, uh, some more fingernails. S seven basics? Seven, yeah. Uh, then we're also going to get three caustic preserved dung strange resources and one scale. So we got a monster hide. We got some love juice. Doesn't come in a jar. Love juice comes from who you are. Some monster organ, some monster bone, some monster organ, everyone's favorite mystery meat, and a little bit more organ for the, the, the cause there. And then we've got our skell and three caustic preserved dung resources. And now it is time to spelunk for some death. You want to switch uh, camps? I don't want to, but I will. Uh, so, spelunking of death. The group investigates the monster's network of tunnels and are inspired by rich vegetation. If your settlement does not already have it, gain the subterranean agriculture innovation. Nominate up to four victorious survivors from the last showdown to be spelunkers. One at a time, each spelunker rolls a d10 on the table below. Does other otherworldly luck count for this? No, no it does not. Um, eh, screw it. I'll do it. I don't care. You want to do it? No. No? Nope. Ready? Enjoy. You... <sighs> Um, now I'm really nervous. Uh, just chat. Do you guys want to do it? We do. Do it anyways. Do we have the hidden crimson jewel? Nope. Oh, okay. So, chat, you're going to roll first. I'm going to also roll at the same time. Roll a 10. Uh, beneath the passage of bones, you find a secret entrance and are compelled to attempt the trial of valor. Oh, boy. Okay. Roll an eight. They're doing the trial of valor also. Okay. So, uh, chat, roll another d10. You're going to add half of your courage, round it up. So their courage is max. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is why we need records. Two. I think we have records. We just need to... So s courage divided by two is 4.5, round it up, so it's five. So we're going to add five to this. Okay. So we're, f Can't. we're safe. I rolled a 10. Jesus. Um, sure, why not? I don't care. That's fine. I'm, I'm going to do it. All right, uh, they rolled a one. The wall, the one. So that is a... Plus five? Six. So you fail, but master your fears. Gain one courage. They're maxed out on courage. Okay. Trial of wits. One d10 add half of your understanding rounded up. So that's another five I'm adding. If I roll a two or one, I'm dead. Okay. Got to risk it for the biscuit. It's a five. Plus five, that's a ten. Okay. You gain the hidden crimson jewel rare gear. If your settlement already has it, gain up to three fighting arts of your choice. Instead, uh, and then as a voice only, you can hear flood your mind with knowledge. But I'm going to gain this. Whew, I got it. So the hidden crimson jewel. What is this? Unique irreplaceable. Once per game phase, you may reroll 1d10. Like, every game phase? Mm-hmm. Oh. 
that's that's nice. Yeah. That's really nice. <laughs> uh cool. I definitely don't remember seeing this before. Ooh, we've never gotten this before. Yeah. That's uh That's really good. Okay. I will uh I'll keep you guys can have your dumb other otherworldly luck. I'm gonna have my shiny ruby jewel thing. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I put a mic here, Grid. No, I'm just gonna take my rocket vest off. <laughs> oh no, I can take off the dumb monster tooth necklace. Yeah, that's true. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. All right. <laughs> I didn't even use that. I forgot that I had that. Cool. Right. I got a pretty jewel. Uh, we need a settlement event. Uh, yeah, so we need a seventh. So chat, you know what to do. Please give us a settlement event. So cards, settlement event. Let's see what we get. Need to activate it with four puzzle. No, you actually don't need to activate any of it. It's there's no activations. <laughs> so that's acid storm. Uh, so they pulled burp, acid storm. Burp, burp, okay. Burp, 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 burp. Um, acid storm. The air tastes sour and burns the survivors' cracked lips. The sky cracks in great flashes, revealing spiraling black clouds. Finally, it opens, dousing everything in acid rain. Roll a d10. So, chat, you know what to do. Roll a d10. Um, um, it goes on the timeline. We still have a random settlement event. Yep. So, yeah, we'll get to murder. Murder. But now we have a reroll for murder, maybe. Someone still dies. I know. So if you have that on your character right now, can your character re-roll a d10 during the settlement phase? Yeah. yeah. During every phase. So the settlement uh, phase, the hunt phase. Six? Settlement phase, hunt phase, showdown phase, right? So they rolled a six. That is, some of the debris around the settlement becomes useful due to the strange effects of the storm. Add one scrap to the settlement storage. We cannot do music endeavors, and we get plus two on art endeavors. All right. So for nightmare training, someone can get acid palms. And then for cooking, we can get founding stones. Founding stones, but um, um, all right. So hooded knight comes along, Matt. Yay, hooded knight. So I know that means we're gonna need a d10. So I'm gonna have chat roll d10. H i j k l e m n o p. I'm not sure what letter l m n o is. No. Oh, you're no fun today, Josh. Uh, they rolled a five. So a five is the Hooded Knight insists on training up to two uncouth survivors in martial combat. Up to two survivors may spend three sources each to learn the Mighty Strike fighting art. The Hooded Knight leaves with unfinished business and will return later. So what we actually do is we're like, okay, Mr. Hooded Knight, you're super duper strong. Just go away. We believe you. Okay. And when did he come back? Who has the most hunt XP? No, I don't, actually. You guys do. And Josh does. Right? But they have marrow hunger. They have marrow hunger. Yeah, I've got no desire. So for when my does strike. Hooded Knight come back? Four years from now. LMNOP. Yeah, Mighty Strike is man. I didn't use either of my arrows. I completely forgot about my Clawhead arrow. It's like we needed it. I know. It's funny. I've got the opportunity to have these arrows, but I don't even use them. It's just the Quiver and Sunstring is really good just for the range. You know? I might take off my Rawhide Vest and Headband. I don't need it. Yes, you do. I need it for the AI manipulation, but if we're just bonking it. Oh. I can get rid of the antelope mask. Do you want the antelope mask? I don't care. Um. Uh, okay, because if Matt did, he would lose the jewel because it's irreplaceable. That is true. What's next, Josh? Innovate. Always be innovative. No. No. It's murder. Oh, murder's happening now? Yep. Oh. Murder. murder. What's their hunt XP? What? Lone Salt? They've yeah. got max. Okay. Maxed out all the way to the top. So can I have the murder settlement event card? Yep. Murder. Murder. Someone in the settlement has been murdered. The survivor with the highest hunt XP is the victim. Who's the survivor with the highest hunt XP besides them? Um, it would be my character. Okay. You're dead. So, no. What do you mean, no? 
Skull Eater, all that means is they must be nominated for this event. Oh, Josh wants to kill you guys. So we could technically kill them. Put up a poll. That's mean, Josh. You did just get Club Mastery. Uh, Marrow Hunger people choose their role, right? That is true. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, that was kind of great. Just, no, fuck you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. Just check it out there real quick. What are you checking real quick? If we had another Marrow Hunger person, I don't think we do, though. Oh, because then they would have both been nominated? Yep. <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> Kill the former Hope person. No, that's me. And he has less. Unless you gained. I did gain. Did you gain your Han XP? Yeah, I'm not at max, though. What are you at, though? Aren't you at max? No, I'm not at max. Oh, really? Yeah. No, don't kill me. Come on, dude. I'm two away from max. So we're at them. All right. You want to kill me, don't you? No, because then I lose this jewel. No, screw you. Uh, we can't share experience at speed. Can we go train at the hyperbolic time chamber? Irreplaceable. I told about to give to me. Is whoa, 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 weird. No, I want my gem. Go away. Okay. So, who shall be murdered? Who shall not pass? Uh, the term you're looking for, Matt, is no, fuck you. <laughs> we need to keep Matt's character. Let's not kill Matt with the OP jewel. Thanks. Also, I've got Bowmaster. I have Fist and Tooth, Dagger, and Clubmaster. Okay. And I have five natural luck, eight evasion, ten strength, eight accuracy. With unconscious fighter, otherworldly luck, and trailblazer. I also have acid palm, sweet battle, ageless, bitter frenzy. <laughs> no, it's mine. What, what's your character's name? A Josh named Matt. <laughs> <laughs> We can get the jewel again. Seemed easy enough. Yeah, it wasn't actually that hard. <sighs> Chat, we might need to die. <laughs> or kill us, I guess. So let's let's review the three characters in question here. Okay. <clears throat> no, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so Lone Salt has four movement, three accuracy, seven strength, seven evasion, two luck. Pretty they, solid character. That's a solid character. They got Berserker, Otherworldly Luck, Extra Sense, Hypersensitive, Quixotic, and Shallow Lungs. They've got Spear Mastery. They've got Axe Mastery. They have Sweet Battle, Ageless. What's Forgettable? I don't remember. I don't remember either. What is Forgettable? I think it's a trigger off of something. Look it up. I, I have no idea where to look that up. I don't remember. Then you I think read it's an it expansion. I'll look it up in the book. Um, bitter frenzy, and that's a marrow hunger. Um, um, what is forgettable? I'm super confused now. Uh, so that's on salt. Matt's character is Josh named Matt. Been through uh, which has six movement, one accuracy, five strength, four evasion. Nothing great. He, has, he does have the jewel, but whatever. Alter density, which is okay. That's destiny, not density. Carapace of Will, a strategist, and he has Hoarder and Secretive, so he's going to have to skip every other hunt. No, but I don't skip every he's other hunt. He's a Bow Mastery. He's a I'm Shield Specialization. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's the Hope person, so he doesn't skip the hunts. But he's got Ageless and Sweet Battle. And then the Baconator, who has four movement, eight accuracy, ten strength, eight evasion, five luck. He blows on people and they just die. He blows people and they die. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um... Who has Trailblazer, other, world, other Otherworldly Luck, Unconscious Fighter, Rageaholic, Stark Ravens, Revenge, Club Mastery, Fist and Tooth Mastery, Dagger Mastery, Acid Palms, Sweet Battle, Ageless, Bitter Frenzy, and they have partnership with they took my job. Turk my job. You, you want to break their partnership? 
That's what Twitch wants to do right now. Good. Uh, forgettable. Unforgettable. It's not there. I think it's Slenderman something. Oh, it's definitely Slenderman. I just, I don't yeah. recall what it. It's forgettable. I think it's just a word you have on your thing. Oh, is that the one where you can't ever be encouraged up by other people? I don't know. <laughs> it might have been. Yeah, so forgettable. Uh, gain plus two permanent evasion. Forgettable survivors cannot be encouraged. So that's where two of their evasion came from. Uh, remember that Lone Salt has died and come back at least once. It's true. This is they mind you, this is also my character like this is my second character that's getting killed off. Hmm. So you know, there's that. But like Baconator is freaking just pure destruction. He is, I'm not gonna deny that. That's why your cholesterol is so bad. Oh, you meant the character. Ha! Come on, that was funny. Matt, it's fine. It's Fourteen <sighs> versus sixty-six. He's bacon grease. He is bacon grease. He's a greasy mf'er. I mean, I'm not gonna deny he's ridiculously good. He is really good. I just feel like you just you hate me, even though <laughs> you're, you're. I know I'm winning. You're winning right I'm now. I'm winning by losing, or I'm losing and winning, whatever you want to call it. No, don't vote for me. <laughs> Matt's gonna vote. She <laughs> voted. I voted. <laughs> um, where's my thing? Where's between ten strength and seven evasion, dudes? Yeah, it's they're they're really good characters to be completely honest. So, who do I actually want to? I don't want to kill you. <sighs> Guess my action. Want to put your character name on the stream? You killing yourself? Yeah. It makes the most sense. As much as I hate it, it makes the most sense. Ah, yes. Uh. Yeah. I also lose the antelope mask. I don't care about that. Um. So there's that. Unless we kill Baconator and then bring him back and you can get rid of the belt of gender swap. But there's no way for me to bring him back. Next Flesh time. monolith. No, that doesn't do that anymore. No? No. No. Been through the desert on a horse with no name. boop a doop a doop a doop boop a doo. What's, what's happening right now? Something's happening. Something's happening. Oh, uh, like 10. 15 ten. minutes. <sighs> Josh is <laughs> you goddamn <laughs> cheater. So Josh before was uh, asking chat which character they wanted to kill, and he just kept saying, "You know, it'd probably be best to kill Twitch's one. character." We really appreciate Thank it. you, Sir Puka. Oh, fuck you. Kill Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Chat's response to that was immediately, "No, fuck you." Just <laughs> simple. <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> Go log into TP's account. Did you? Oh, you already did for the Twist Gaming account too. Yeah, right? I did. Uh, we're debating who has to die. And Josh is drawing it out as long as possible because his character is losing that right now. <laughs> Someone could redeem Salt. He could redeem Salt to, for an event to bring Baconator back. He's so upset right now. <laughs> no, I don't think I'd say he's salty. Just upset. That doesn't even make sense. No. Do I have anything irreplaceable? I do not. The belt of gender swap. That's not irreplaceable. That's true. It's, it's just cursed. It's other. Sorry, Josh. I value Matt's character at the moment. That's the first time anyone says they value my character. Ten strength's nice. I also have five luck. You do. <laughs> Everyone's just ignoring the, the, the five natural luck. I don't think anyone's ignoring it. Um, who cares about that? And it frees up a gear grid spot. I, th I think no one said that. I think you typed that. 
I'm just I'm just saying there. IJS. Uh, so it looks like you're dead, Josh. Yeah, I Hasn't guess. Haven't been any voting in a while. I guess. Damn you, chat. That's honestly that's impressive. That they kept me alive. So I'm gonna say thank you. Thank you so much, chat. This is the first time Josh's character has died since we started this game. That's because he rigs it and he keeps voting open until it's not his character. Mind you, this he is runs, the first time this ever happened. Mind you, he runs two characters. All right. So yeah, we keep the jewel alive. Okay. So Josh, you're dead. Ha ha. So Baconator is dead. All right. Uh, so we're going to need a D10 to be rolled. For Moida. So we've got Except the Darkness. The Darkness! Yes! This is where they roll a one, right? They could. Roll an eight. They rolled an eight. The murderer becomes the undisputed boss of the settlement and gains three hunt XP. Each player selects one fighting art and one disorder. The murderer must take all of them, replacing any existing fighting arts and disorders that they have. So... They're getting rid of Shallow Lungs, and they're getting rid of Berserker. What do we want to give them? I don't know. Probably Thrill Seeker? No. Abyssal Sadist? Abyssal Sadist. Yeah, you're right. Abyssal Sadist. And we'll get rid of Shallow Lungs and give them what? I don't know. Quixotic and hypersensitive of what we have now. Yep, you guys are the boss now. I am Captain now. Uh, I'm going to give them apathetic. Why apathetic? Because if they have A plus understanding, they cure it immensely, so they have no... I mean, is there something open. more beneficial There's we can give them? Not really. But it's better for them to have only two, not three. Oh, they're saying salt hunger. They want to be a salt zombie. I mean, they could salt hunger. What? What are you talking What? Oh, <laughs> the dick butt. <laughs> oh. It seems to me that you lived your life like a dick butt in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the Elton John song went, right? <laughs> Smashing! 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 All right, I can't do that. Salt hunger. Give them salt hunger. Okay? Okay. So they're going to get salt hunger instead of shallow lungs. <laughs> Creepy <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> salt hunger. And then they're going to get rid of Berserker and get Abyssal Sadist. Yep. What? You need to sign it and do a giveaway. Huh? They want it to be signed and as a giveaway. We could. Could make more. You can make as many as you wanted and as many colors as you wanted. That's true. I did it on the C. Oh, I have to reprogram it. It's been a long time since I've used a CNC. Yes, you should sell it. Oh, yeah. I haven't tried that before. <laughs> Twitch, do you want to watch us make drawings on a CNC? Live streamed? We could. We could do live stream CNC stuff. Oh. It's a lot quieter. We, we can have Tris. people like tip about a certain amount of money to Twitch, uh, does anyone want to buy a CNC? It comes with your own personal mat to program it. That's not how that works. It is how it works. Um, but no, we could actually do that where they could redeem salt to, re to do a drawing on the CNC. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. But then you'd have to like do it beforehand because you'd have to program them all. Uh, no, the program, the program that does it is super duper easy. You could do it real time? Yeah. Sweet. Meow! <laughs> that's loud in my ear. R.I.P. in peace. Ow. It's okay. You're doing that to all your viewers. It's cool. It's not just me. Uh, need right. to set up the Twitch cat can feed the... Oh, no. Because that's, that's how you crash a CNC. Do you want to well, break a I CNC? Mean, that's how you break a CNC. Look, if no one's buying it anyway, it could be a good marketing expense. I mean, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what we could do. We might be... That's your new extension, Josh. I just put a pencil in there so they can't break any... They just break a pencil. Do a Kickstarter to destroy a CNC. All right, thank you all for joining us this evening. <laughs> Is there anything else that we needed to do? I don't think um, so. Do we want to innovate Let's now? Let's save the innovate for next time. Okay, so, all right. 
All right, so we're going to say goodnight to you guys. So thank you for joining us this evening. This is another presentation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Uh, please join us for all of our upcoming streams. The best way to find out what's going on is to follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and coming to chat with us in our Discord channel where... The party, party never stops. Goes no. places and things. So this is the thing. I asked Josh to make to say something different every time. Uh, but and this Josh is, is not good at I improv. Know, I know. So literally every time it's stuff happens. There's a party <laughs> and stuff. There are things... People are sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's what you say. I know. Come on. <laughs> give it to me. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and chat with us on our Discord channel where... Everyone makes out with lamps. <laughs> what? Makes out with lamps. <laughs> Instead of stuff and things. Pass it to me. Okay. I can't do it anymore. Josh, you do it. Follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and places. <laughs> and uh, no, join no, us no, on no, our Discord. Do it the right way. <laughs> Follow us on, on Facebook, Facebook, Twitch, Twitch Twitter, Twitter, YouTube, YouTube Instagram, Instagram. And come chat with us in our Discord where the pierogies are cascading like fountains. No, it doesn't do even it. make sense. <laughs> I need pictures or it didn't happen. I don't it's know what we're talking about pictures, though. It's hard. Okay, you pass it to me again. Come follow us, uh, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Discord where? I don't know. I don't know it. I don't do this anymore. Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us in our Discord channel where? And come chat with us in our Discord channel where? We've got two Ravenclaws and a Hufflepuff. Okay, but you had time to think about that. No, I didn't. You literally said, pass it to me. I'm going to do it again. What? We hit a new achievement, Matt. I hate you. What's the new achievement? We streamed for 500 hours. That's it? You guys have watched us. That's that's it. I feel like you you guys never stop streaming. It might be since they started the achievement thing. Ooh, that's how no. they started it yesterday. Because I mean, you do it like three hours a night. I feel like that would take you less than a year. Yeah, but we're not mad at Daphne. Wins. Uh, yeah, Daphne wins. That <laughs> yeah, Daphne wins. Lucy looks so pissed. You guys have no life. Black Lion's angry. He's not even into. He is. He is. Uh, please join us for all of our upcoming streams. So this Saturday, we are doing our International Tabletop Day stream from the friendly local game store down here. We're going to be doing a four, three to four hour uh, RPG session, one shot. Uh, it's a variant of Dungeons and Dragons, kind of uh, in the Mass Effect vein. I forget what it's called. Uh, Josh is going to look that up right now. Um, um, I, no, I'm not going to look that up now. It's deep in there. It, we talked about it yesterday. Uh, then join us next Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time for our next spotlight, which is going to be Thanos Rising. Ooh, Thanos Rising. Uh, we're actually going to see the the Avengers movie on Saturday, so we'll have some backstory. We won't do Thanks any Thanks for the invitation. You are coming. Ew. <laughs> um. So then. On Tuesday, 8 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Time, we got our continuation of uh, Twitch Plays <laughs> Kingdom Death. And then, as a reminder, if you haven't had the chance, go check out our spotlight this past week where we got to show off uh, Court of the Dead, Dead Mourner's Call. Call by Project Raygun, currently live on Kickstarter as of today. Uh, they already hit their funding goal. They're creeping up on 100 grand right now. Uh, but they just released the stamped metal uh, of Unity faction, tokens. or Unity Tokens. Yep. Uh, so definitely go check that out. The game was a lot of fun, and we would like to point out that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Court of the Dead Mourners Call by Project Raygun. So big shout-out to them. Really do appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um, as a reminder, if you have Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime, which means you get one free sub every month. You could also buy 500 bits, which is $5 to us, for just 99 cents, and all of those bits go back into contributing towards the stream so that we can give more giveaways to you guys, and they also contribute to the tip goal that you see in the top right of the screen, as I was just finishing up saying that. Uh, and we are about $66 and change away from our next giveaway, and we theme those to whatever the stream is that we hit them on, so definitely check that out. And if you are a sub, uh, you get more entries into all those giveaways. If uh, you're a sub sandwich, you get more entries into giveaways? Yes, if you're a sub sandwich. Uh, mostly um, meatball sub. I prefer turkey. I don't care. Meatballs get free entries. Mm, I can be a meatball. You look like a meatball. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it's all the marinara sauce on your face. That's what it would be. Yeah. Um, so let's see what else is going on. Uh, we have the uh, twist giveaways going on. So check we out. We have the one to do tonight. So after we do our so soft sign off, we'll pull that really good that you just interrupted me mid-sentence to good. say that. You're welcome. 
<laughs> Welcome to my life. Welcome it's to my Miami. life. Don't you forget. So you guys can win some stuff. And some of the stuff that's on there, we've got the Court of the Dead. Uh, uh, I can't think of the name. It's the playing cards. And yep. the, there's the Court of the Dead themed playing cards and the, uh, the dealer token as well. So that's uh, one of the giveaways we're doing. We had one last night. And the winner of that one was Ivan Zakat. Uh, but if you want another chance at that, that's how you can enter that giveaway. It's going to be running for about a month. And what are we pulling tonight, Josh? Uh, tonight is the Green Bar game pack. Oh, the Green Bar Green Briar Grim Slinger pack. Uh, so Josh is going to close that out right now, and we are going to put that into chat for all of you to see at home. So Josh, do it, do it, do it, do it. I thought you guys were doing the soft sign off. That's what I thought. Matt just yeah, too late now. <laughs> He's committed. Mm -hmm. And if you really want to see us burn a CNC, demand it in Discord. It. Darth go and Raven make them Eye. control it. It's not and burning it. And then it'll go. No. That's uh, how it works. Who won? Darth Raven Eye. Who? Darth Raven Eye. One more time. Darth Raven Eye. He's fucking with you. Huh? Darth Raven and I. Who? Your mom. It's not my mom. It could be. You don't know. I know her sign on. Maybe she made an extra one. She doesn't know how to do that. That's Darth true. Raven, I congratulations. You are the winner of the Grim Slingers giveaway. Uh, so please send us your personal information, and we will open up credit cards under your name. Uh, and we'll use those to go on some all-expense-paid trips. We really appreciate it. No, send us, uh, send us your deets, and we will use that to forward you your victory. So congratulations. <laughs> Cat's pawing at the screen. Pawing at your face. <laughs> yeah, I like your face. So what's next, Josh? Uh, I think that's it. All right. So thank you all. Uh, this is gonna be Twist Gaming signing off for now. We really do appreciate you stopping by and come check out the upcoming streams. But for now, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. I'm the disembodied voice of TP. Good night, everyone. Night. Good night.